In the near future, it may become very hard, or perhaps eventually impossible, to get services from opening a bank account to getting a water and electricity connection without a national identity card. And for this to happen, the national database and concerned institutions have to integrate information. Nita Uganda is now readying itself to put in place a cloud platform with sufficient capacity to integrate both government and private sector systems for ease of service delivery. Um, you can see the banks here, they want national ID data, they want um, data from registration services bureau and so on and so forth. For them to be able to share that data, this integration platform is going to enable that sharing of data. So that's the platform that we're talking about. We would like to see you applying for your driving permit. Pay for it without going to, to the office in Chambo. We would like to, you to apply for your renewal of your passport without going to an immigration office. Access for, to, to these various systems will require certain minimums uh, and levels of uniformity. And of course, our technical people will discuss those details, but it is a concern, um, but also because of the cyber risks coming in and the regular upgrades that happen, technology is constantly moving. And at the end of August, institutions like banks will have no need to take too much information from clients. It doesn't help the banks to continue taking all the details about an individual when they're registering that person who is a client to them. And then that person we have already the information about uh, that uh, client of theirs. So for us, we think they need to take a little to information from a client, but they emphasize on the use of an ID. And at the end of August, when we have the third party interface operational, then this is the environment that they will interact, their systems will interact with our system to get information about a person. So it will quicken their processes of transacting to give services to their clients. This was during an engagement between the Uganda Bankers Association and ICT sector experts this morning in Kampala.